All right, so today I'm gonna mention guys how to get stretch res for Valorant as of May 2023. Now, when it comes to stretch res in Valorant, there's a lot of different opinions. There's some people that like it, and there's some people that don't like it. Now, in my opinion, I actually do prefer stretch res just because it feels a lot better. Now, one of the main reasons why I actually use stretch res is because your game is gonna feel a lot more smooth and it's gonna feel just a lot more better because of no input delay and the latency thing and it also gives you a massive fps boost like i went from 200 fps to 400 or 500 fps so if you struggle with fps just go ahead and try stretch res and it's going to boost it a lot there's also different types of resolutions that you guys could use i'm actually using 1280 by 1024 that is the stretch res that i'm using but there's a lot of other ones that you guys could use and i know a lot of people say that stretch res doesn't actually help because it doesn't really um, make player models and objects look larger which may be true but the reason why i use it is because uh, the crosshair so once you guys use uh, stretch res your crosshair is going to be a lot more bigger and it's going to be a lot more stretched and it's just going to be a lot more easier to actually hit your shots so there definitely is some advantages of using stretch res so yeah you guys could just try it out and you guys can see if you guys like stretch res or not but all you really have to do is just try it out and see if you like it or not so yeah so if you're an amd or nvidia graphics card user um, i'm going to be showing you guys both ways on how to do them for each graphics card so yeah it's just really simple really easy it should take like less than five minutes or so so just make sure you guys follow the steps and you guys should be good Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the amd software and once you open up the amd software you guys want to go down to display options and then where it says it's gpu scaling make sure you have this enabled and then for the scaling mode make sure you guys have this to full panel um not center or aspect ratio or whatever um full panel so after that uh go to custom resolutions and you want to click create new and then this right here is where you're going to add your custom resolution so there's a lot of different resolutions that you guys can use for your guys stretch res I use 1280 by 1024. So 1280 by 1024, that is the stretch resolution that I use. So once you guys put your custom resolution, you guys want to click create. And then after clicking create, click OK. And then now for the timing standard, it should say you're on manual. So just go to CVT. And then once you put CVT, go back to manual because all this right here is going to change. And just click create. And then once you guys have clicked create, your main monitor or whatever monitor you're using should go black. So once it goes black, that's pretty much just means that you added the resolution. So after that, go to display settings. And then once you go to the display settings, just scroll down to where you see display resolution. So it should be 920 by 1080. So um, once you guys go right here, you guys should see the resolution that you guys added. So as you can see, I added 1280 by 1024. So once you click 1280 by 1024, your main monitor or the screen or monitor you're using should now look stretched so once it looks stretched um there shouldn't be any black bars there shouldn't be anything like that it should be good so once you guys have that on that pretty much means that it's working so now that it's working all you have to do now is just open up your valorant so once you go on valorant you want to go right here and go to the settings and then click settings and then go to video and then right here general go to display mode and click windowed full screen and then just go ahead and just click apply and as you guys can see click confirm and your screen should be stretched and it should be good now the only thing that does kind of suck that is it's going to be a little too stretched like in the main menu as you guys can see like if you guys go to your guys shop um it's going to be kind of hard to see it but i mean it's not the hard i have to do just click on it and it should be good but yeah that's pretty much how you have stretch rest for amd graphics cards it's really easy and simple so again i'm gonna go to back to my general uh, make sure you guys go to windows full screen top 80 by 1024 and you should be good all right so now that i showed you guys how to use stretch res for amd graphics cards um now i'm going to be showing us how to do it for the nvidia version now i actually do not own a nvidia graphics cards so i'm actually going to be showing you guys a different video from someone else so i'm gonna give obviously i'm gonna give credit to the original person that made that video um, so you guys can go ahead and check that out in the link in the description or you guys could just look at the screen I also put his ad right there. So yeah, this is for the NVIDIA users This is how to use stretch rest for NVIDIA graphics cards and just follow his steps follow what he does and you guys should be good There shouldn't be any problems But if there is problems um, for your guys to stretch rest for AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards Just comment that down below and I will reply and I will show you guys what to do and you know how you guys can fix it But yeah, this is pretty much how to get stretch rest and you know, hopefully help you guys out Okay, so firstly, you want to click the link in the description.
and it should take you to nerdsoft.net. It will take you to Win Explorer, which you need for this true stress res. And you just press download Win Explorer here. You also might need WinRoar. I'll put that in the description as well. And just download it here and things fine. I already have it. So, so after you've downloaded it, open up File Explorer and extract with WinRoar to a separate folder. So after you've extracted it, double click on the folder, open this up, winexplorer.exe. This should pop up here. So after this has popped up, just close it. Then go to your desktop, press on the video control panel. After you're at the video control panel, go to change resolution. You can pick any stress res you want from the PC default options, or if you want to create a custom one, you press customize. You press create custom resolution, and you put in what resolution you want. And don't forget to put the refresh rate of your monitor I prefer it on 1440 by 1080, but you guys can pick anything else. So once you've created your custom stress res, you can minimize that as well and open up Valorant. So once Valorant has opened, go to settings, go to video, put this to windowed, make it fill, and then apply, confirm, and make sure this is correct. Your monitor and make sure it's 1920 by 1080 before you've changed it to windowed and fill. You want to minimize Valorant, go to NVIDIA control panel and click on your custom res. Click apply, go to the bottom left, search win exp. Now scroll down and Valorant should be there. Click on Valorant, go to style, untick ws underscore border. Once you have done that, go to size and position and press maximized. And there you have it, 1440 by 1080.